This is our second community kitchen. Do you want to try it? It's open for the public and all the recipes made for our advocates. So Mali, Ethiopian, Kurdish and Mexican. Uh, we're going to make a pico de gallo in guacamole. The Food Innovation Network uses a collective impact approach. These group of partners are really working together to um, address the health and economic disparities in the community. Shilan told me that the families love to cook, they are mothers, sisters, they cook and invite the neighbors to eat. So they were very excited about the food innovation work and they wanted to participate. from Kurdistan, Northern Iraq. I came here in 1996 on November, and we've been here almost 20 years. We're seeing things happen that we wouldn't be doing without her. She just makes those events so warm and inclusive and really builds in opportunity for all the advocates to be co-leading that with her. We also do a lot in business incubation with um, food businesses because that's something that we've heard from the community of folks wanting to start a food business. I see them beginning to feel like part of the society, like feeling important because that opportunity has never been granted before. It's like opening a door for you. When they open one door for you, there's other doors that open after that door.